here guys and welcome to another edition of Grim Dawn. This time I will do a different video. I will talk about m the build you've been seeing so far, namely this badass right here, or her to be exact. Yeah, if you can't tell, that's a woman. The Witch Hunter build. Let's get into it and talk more in detail. I'll be discussing skills, devotions, and my plans for the future. And also a bit of ranting about the channel. <clears throat> oh yeah, in case you're not, you're, uh, not figuring this out, it's uh, this supposed to be a vlog. Sorry about that, but uh, I didn't get the camera to work properly, so you'll not see my handsome face. Also, load. Thank you. Oh yeah, I am way... Yeah, never mind, this will do. I am here. <clears throat> now. I'll talk about the auras and the skills now. For example, <clears throat> but first, equipment. Now, for this build, particular build, I'm dual wielding, as you can see, and I'm using an empowered version of Willy's Razor. I got lucky, and I got two of them. They give me a lot of offensive ability, and plus one to all in night blade I'm because my assassin is main skill tree now for rings I used to have two corrosive living rings of mending but I switched one for this screams of the eater I don't get those bonuses but far from that it's okay also I have gaze of gazer's eye <coughs> from devil crashing on every last one of them including the amulet yes for the amulet this one i use avatar of mercy plus four to maximum resistance because we are gonna need it also <clears throat> if you're gonna die this saves you one time it has a 70 second skill recharge so be careful how you plan on dying oh yeah for the blades, I forgot to mention, I have venom on them. For this type, this type of venom, this is outcast venom. You should try to start with... You could press, I've got left. This, manticore at first. <clears throat> but yeah, that's not until level 40. <clears throat> well also, armor. I use Praetorian chest garset. For head, shoulders, and uh, chest. I have hold ground for the bonuses to resistances and hell regenerated on the armor. Also, I have an outcast warding powder to protect myself against ether. So I get the resistances quite high, as you can see. For the Praetorian, I choose the one for cold resistance and lightning resistance. Also, I have Silk Swatch for the resi piercing resist res. For the face, I have Sanctified Bone and Outcast Elemental Scales for fire and cold resistance. Also, this has Soul Shard and Gazer's Eye. Also, as well as this. The chest has Anti Venom Self for this. It's quite low right now, but if I pop the first kill, like uh, so, see, it's maxed out. Now, I have the Empower Shadow Wave le Leggings are good for Assassin. Also, Silk Swatch and Outcast Warding Powder. Never leave home without it. Viper Fan Grips. I got really lucky and I got these 
out of crucible but yeah unholy inscription it's a must have for vitality and bleeding when scale food guards i was debating to go with viper fangs food guards i have those as well but really one scale it's a must for the elemental resistance i have mark of mogdrogan in this which is quite good <coughs> combat medics mark quite a nice amulet i got really lucky with this one I got so sharp on it. Olden Oldenar Stabilizer, Anti-Venom, and Elemental Scales. And of course, the Relic, called Slaughter plus 1 to Nightblade, also Bloodbath. Which I use here. Also, I have Acid Spray on Bloodbath, but we'll talk about this later. Now, Physique. You mainly want to go... One to phys... Uh, two to physic, one to cunning. That's the ratio you're aiming for. Resistant wise... We're good. For normal and veteran anyway, we're good. For now. Now, skill wise. Immediately, what you wanna go is go to Nightblade. Take dual wielding. Do not max it. This is a one point wonder. One point is enough. Then raise it and then take Veil of Shadows. You will need a total speed and offensive ability reduction. Also, Night Shield is a must have. And this, Phantasmal Armor. Max this out. These, I only have one point, a couple of points in each of them, like two points each. No, three points each. Not quite necessary but this Balgordian Sears make sure you maximize it it's awesome also I have assigned a power to it Celestial Fangs because why not we'll talk about that later Nidala it's over the top max out also this not so much, do not max out unless you really have to. Also, Whirling Death. Which reminds me, I need to take this down a bit, I don't need it to wait. But yeah, I kinda derped out, sorry. This is for skills. I'm noticing I may mean for execution, but not right now, anyway. Now for Occultist 3. For Occultist 3, we're gonna do Drag, Evil Eye. This is not as so important as this. You need Focus Gaze. It's a must have. And also these don't need to be maxed out, but won't hurt. But yeah, also take out Blood of Drag. Max it out, along with Aspect of the Guardian. You need a poison and acid resistance as much as possible and vile eruption. Try to match this as well. It's a must have. So yeah, possession, good skill to have. Garant chaos resistance. Very important to notice. Chaos resistance is a must have on later difficulties. Also. This is for skills. Devotion wise. Immediately once you once you start, your first point should go into green. Like so. Go for Guardian's Gaze. Apply this to Drag's Evil Eye. After that, I use I used the bullish hunger so I can get it for my passive a bit for my trigger ability called, you know, for the blogger drag, it's quite useful if you are almost dead. It grants you, like you see here, it grants you a lot of lifesteal. Like 77% of attack converted to health. It's insane. But yeah, then, go for the throne, 
Manticore assigned this to I have this assigned to Bloodbath, the relic skill I have, and it's awesome. Then go for Affliction. Affliction is so good. I put this on my passive ability, my Veil of Shadows. So good. Apart from that, you can do, then go for the bat, apply it to Balgordian, so you can get hell regen, get the rat, get the spider, and then, as soon as you can, go for this big boy. Then replace your main two abilities, namely, 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 bloodbath, and Dregs Evil Eye Notice I have Dregs Infinite Gaze <coughs> <coughs> But that doesn't matter So yeah Replace those two with The abilities you gain from this bad boy right here Well at least one of them anyway Yeah all of them And that's about it for this build, as you can see, Let's see what I can do no, here. we're doing great. A normal, anyway. I can't do that yet. But yeah, I have potions on two and three for convenience. Oh yeah, this, the ether ward is from this purify salt, and also, I got mark of drag. Because I love Malkov Drake. See? They die before coming in, in close range. So good. I'm not doing anything. Not a thing. But yeah. That is it for my rant. I hope you like it. And like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed the build. Nikki, out. Bye-bye.